Get your hands up. Step out of the house. Both of you get your hands up and step out of the house. When police officers draw their weapons, the risk of deadly force soars. The Nine on Your Side I team has spent the last six months investigating how local police use force. Tonight, Chief Investigative Reporter Craig Cheatham shows us one department's unique commitment to use less force. Craig and Tanya, 32 local police departments provided the I team with reports documenting use of force by their officers. But the Boone County Sheriff's Office is the only one of those departments that gave us the same type of detailed reports for every time one of their deputies pulled out a weapon but didn't use it. You're going to get tased if you don't put your hands behind your back. A man makes a threat in front of Boone County deputies. Then body camera footage shows he refuses to follow their orders. There, there, stop. A deputy deploys his stun gun but doesn't use it. Keep walking. A report of gunfire. A possible suspect is finally talked out of a car. Go down to your knees. Deputies have their guns at the low ready, but don't point them. Yeah, you're looking at it right here. Deputies cautiously approach the home of a man, allegedly seen with a loaded assault rifle. Get your hands up. Step out of the house. Both of you get your hands up and step out of the house. Deputies point their guns, you too, but man. don't fire them. Get down on your knees. These are all examples of Boone County like deputies showing force by pulling out their weapons, but not firing them. Each incident happened within the last 15 months, and in every case, no one got hurt. Our deputies are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. The Boone County Sheriff's Office is one of 32 local law enforcement agencies that provided use of force records to the Nine on Your Side I-Team. 21 of those departments identified incidents when officers showed force but didn't use it. But our six-month-long investigation reveals Boone County is the only department that requires a separate detailed report for every time officers pull out their weapons. As the elected sheriff, I want to know any time one of my deputies is pointing a taser or their weapon at, at, a, at a citizen, and I want to know why. Boone County's show of force investigations include interviews with suspects and witnesses, a description of what happened, Photographs, body camera video, and reviews by several supervisors. How you doing, Quentin? The sheriff's office okay? tracks these show of force cases and the deputies involved, then looks for any indication that a deputy may be drawing a weapon without justification or not using one when force is needed. They instituted a, a, a large number of things. Al Gerhardstein represented the family of 19-year-old Samantha Ramsey, who was shot and killed in 2014 by Boone County Deputy Tyler Brockman. The Sheriff's Office determined the use of force was justified, but the county still paid Ramsey's family $3.5 million to settle a lawsuit. Gerhard Stein says the settlement prompted reform in the Sheriff's Office. They accepted the spirit of it and they filled it in with uh, additional measures that make it uh, work. And I, I think that's great. I think it's very important. And I'm hopeful uh, that there'll be a model department for the rest of law enforcement in the region. Hey, listen to me. Hey, you want to go to jail? I don't give a about going to jail. In July 2017, Michael Yeary came looking for a piece of a guy who had punched him earlier that day. I'm not taking my hand off of you. A minute later, deputies tried to arrest Yeary and pushed a stun gun up against his back. At the I-Team's request, Mr. Yeary and Boone County Major Tom Shaben watched the body camera video of the incident. Yeah, I, have, I, I said a few bad words, but I don't see anywhere where I fought and resisted. He is not obeying their orders. Did they, did they rush the car and beat the hell out of him? Nope. They stayed in a safe officer position and continued to communicate with him. Mr. Yeary, who is handicapped, said he was afraid of losing his balance and hitting the pavement, so he didn't put his arms behind his back until he felt steady. When a deputy deployed the stun gun, Yeary and his son calmed down. Yes, it made a difference. It made me real, realize I was being stupid, and I should have went at it a, a, a whole different way. A Boone County lieutenant responded to the scene, watched the body camera video, and told Mr. Yeary he believed the deputies handled the situation properly. 
The sheriff's office produced a 28-page report on the incident. Yeary pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct and resisting arrest and paid $189 in fines and court costs. When weapons are drawn, fear rises, and so does the risk of deadly force. It's one of the scariest things in the world to have a weapon pointed at you. Scary, and even when weapons aren't pointed at you, Sheriff Helmig says just knowing when and why officers are pulling out their weapons can help protect police and the public they serve. I want to make sure we don't have a cowboy out there. The Boone County Sheriff's Office says since 2014, it's reduced annual use of force incidents by 63%. Sheriff Helmig credits new policies, training, and practices that are focused on reducing tension and conflict. All deputies are required to wear body cameras. Craig Cheatham, 9 on your side.